to use the fish farm. You just climb the vines. Space will let you. Space bar will let you ascend. Hold down shift to crouch and come to the edge of these hoppers. You want to grab a fishing rod with lure three, luck of the sea, and mending. You could put on breaking, but it's not needed. Aim the crosshairs at the note block. Hold down right click and set up your computer to keep holding down right click and walk away. That's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Over time, you will catch fish some of the time, and those fish will end up in the chests down below. When you're done, please put the fishing rod back into the chest and hop on down and collect your loot. Greetings and welcome to In the Margins, a multimedia project and Minecraft server. I am, as always, in my own world. Thank you for joining me here. My pronouns are they, them, and as a reminder, I have motor and vocal tics. You will hear odd sounds from time to time. In today's video, I've already shown you how the server fish farm uh, can be used. Now let me explain how it works. So we'll hop over to the guardian farm and go over into the corner where the fish farm is and I have Xerceris, my survival account, uh, fishing for us. I'm going to switch into spectator mode and explain what's going on. So you already know that you stand here, you right click on the um, note block and when you have a fishing rod in your hand and you're right clicking on a note block, so right clicking on a note block will change the uh, the note that it plays, and right clicking with a fishing rod will cast the the line. Uh, the note block takes priority over the fishing rod, so if you right click on a note block with a fishing rod in your hand, you will not cast the line. However, Fishing rod takes priority over trap doors. So when a trap door is in the way and you're right clicking on that, the fishing line will be cast. So this timer, uh, the trap door is set up to do a timer. The pulse length is the correct length to, uh, to be just long enough for you to, to reel in your line with one right click and then get out of the, uh, and then cast with another right click and then get out of the way, uh, so that you can just keep right clicking on the note block. Sometimes you can get out of sync, and there's a timer set up for that too. But let's go ahead and talk about the timers. So we have a tripwire hook and uh, and string, and when the when the bobber passes through that, it sets off a timer on this side, and this is just a delay. So you cast the line, and the pulse comes through, and it will flip the trap door. And that length of time has been calculated by some people to be the optimum length of time to have the highest chance of having a fish on your line when you reel it in. Um, and on the other side, we have a comparator clock. And this will slowly lose strength over time. And when, uh, if the bobber does not go through the trap door, then the signal strength will reach zero. The bobber going through resets the clock back to full strength. So if you ever get out of sync, uh, and that means that you're trying to cast the fishing line, but no matter how many times the trapdoor flops down, you're just not, the timing isn't right. This fixes that. Uh, so if the signal strength ever gets down to zero, this torch will go off, and on the one side it will set off the trapdoor, for the duration of time that it needs to be to put you back in sync, because you're like a half step out, so that puts, that's a half step and it puts you back in sync. And it also sends out a signal on this side, which goes and repowers the clock, restarts the clock. Uh, and so in this way, if you're ever out of sync, it'll get you back in sync. If it has trouble getting you back in sync, it'll keep trying until it does. And then once you're in sync, you'll keep fishing the optimum amount of time uh, to, to get fish this way. And why is this so complicated? Fishing used to be easier, or fishing should be easier. Maybe you only just started playing. Let's show you the old fish farms. So the old fish farms, before they made this change that required 
the uh, oh yes I <laughs> uh, so the old fish farms here super simple you just stand in place cast your line and the bobber uh, hits the pressure plate which activates the trap door which then has you clicking on the note block when a fish catches the hook it pulls the bobber down below the pressure plate uh, the trap door comes down you click on it restarting the whole process this is marvelous because you catch everything. There's no misses. There's no reeling in the line without anything on it. However, the 1.16 update uh, changed all that. Mo Yang thought that these fish farms were too powerful. And so now you can only get loot. You can only get loot from a fishing farm if your bobber is in the center of an area that is at least five blocks by five blocks by five blocks so it's five block cube this bobber is in the center of the or is it is at the very bottom of the centermost block which is an air block so it's floating on top of the water it's it's technically in the air uh and then two blocks to each side left right forward back up down is the remainder of the uh area so the bottom two layers of this five by five by five area have to be water source blocks. You could, you can have, uh, uh, coral, uh, fans, as you see, and, uh, and coral, and you can have sea, uh, seagrass and kelp. Anything without a hit box, anything, or not a hit box, anything without a collision box, anything that you can walk through will count as okay, but a waterlogged block will not it has just has to be a water source block and you can add some decoration that is uh as i say stuff that you can walk through stuff that doesn't have a collision box Indeed. and so the bottom two layers have to be solid have to be water source blocks the top three layers above that have to be air blocks and that is the only way that you can get treasure. Hey, that it's weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so since this is the only way you can get treasure and you can no longer detect when the bobber has been taken, and I don't know what's going on with that. That's weird. I've not seen that before. Oops. Yeah, you see there we missed a fish. Anyway, so this is the fish farm. Uh, please remember to put the fishing rod back in the chest when you are done. And later, I will have some sort of sorting system over here. But for now, we just have a chest that has all the loot from the old fishing farms that I had to take down and replace with this one. Thank you for joining me here on In the Margins to learn about how our server fish farm works, and to listen to me ramble. Happy crafting.